Welcome to this mini lesson on quick ways to find and use information in Sage Master Builder. My name is Jim Cumming with Logical Construction Concepts. What we're going to show you today is the F4 key. Notice that black down arrow. Most folks will get to a field that has that black down arrow and press it and then work with the lookup list. We can make that a little easier by typing the beginnings of the description of the item that you're looking up and pressing F4. If you don't know what it begins with, we can put a asterisk around that and do, uh, or excuse me, at the end of that and press F4 and we'll get all things that contain the characters that you put in. It's a slower search, so on large tables it can take a little bit longer. Once we uh, populate a field, now this could be on an existing record or anything else. You can simply move to that field, press F6, and you'll drill down to the related record. Again, we'll show you that in a moment. Finally, uh, you may have been wondering what all those little yellow bars are on the left side of some of the fields when you're working through the system. These are index fields. I'm going to show you a little technique where you can type in the first few letters of whatever's in that field and press F9 to get to that record. Again, pretty simple to do. We'll show you that in one second. We'll also show you that you can continue scrolling through the deck uh, based on that field using the page up and page down keys. A little bit easier to show you rather than describe to you. So, let's get to it. Here we have the Master Builder Jobs Green. We want to do is we want to look up an architect. So just to demonstrate, we have all of these folks in here and let's assume that Dean Port is an architect. Well, let's look up the professionals. All right, we have Will McKinney. So what we're going to do here is we're going to type in Will, W-I-L-L -L, and hit F4. We have three records that begin with W-I-L-L. -L. Simply pick the right one, double click, and populate the field. Pretty simple. If we don't know exactly what it starts with, let's say we're looking for a lumber company. So we'll go to the lender. We have, this happens to relate to the accounts payable vendor table. And we want a lumber company, L-U-M-B. Follow that with a star and hit F4. And we get all the records that contain LUMB, including lumber companies, plumbers, etc. Again, pretty simple to do. Next, what we're going to do is we have a, po a field in here that's already populated. And I would like to go to that record. Well, I could tap this little button here and do that. Or... I can hit F6 and do that. And getting into the record this way is just the same as going through the regular Master Builder menu. So we can edit that and save it or do whatever we would like with it. And then the last thing we want to do, which is probably best demonstrated with the purchase order screen or a screen where we actually know the number of an order or some such. You'll see how that works in just a second is we have some POs out here. So 458 we know is a valid PO. Let's assume you're sitting there with a document that has that PO number. We could begin the process by typing in 458, tapping F9, and it gets to that particular record. Notice that this also is on 123 Your Street. So let's try that again with a blank one. Type in 123 and hit F9. And what's interesting about this is if we pull up that, uh, if we're on that particular field and hit page down, notice that we are moving through the deck according to the address. If we clicked on the order and hit page up, page down, we are moving through by order. We are moving through by vendor. 
this case vendor number. So there you have it, some quick ways to look up information in Master Builder, make your life hopefully a little bit easier. Thanks for coming today. See you next time.